Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Amidst the high interest rate environment, while most of us are benefiting from the higher interest rates in our savings accounts, fixed deposits, SSB and T-bills, homeowners that are taking home loan from the bank will feel the pain of the higher interest rates, especially if they are on a floating rate. In this video, I will be sharing on should we use cash or CPF to pay our home loan amidst this high interest rate environment. First of all, I will be sharing with you some of the reasons why you should use CPF to pay for your home loan. The CPF funds that we have is split into different accounts and cannot be withdrawn unless you reach the retirement age. CPF OA is meant to pay for housing, insurance, investment and education. So if the funds are already allocated for housing, we might as well just use it since we can't use it for other purposes. Using the funds in our OA may also seem less painful than using our own hard-earned cash from our own pockets since a portion of our income already automatically goes into our OA. This is the main way Singaporeans can tap onto their CPF funds before they reach the age of 55. Check out this video to find out what kind of house expenses you can pay in full using CPF funds. Reason number two. Paying with your CPF also means that you will have cash freed up for other expenses. Since 20% of our income goes to our CPF, financing your home solely with CPF frees up the other 80% of your salary to spend on other necessities like clearing your other debts, saving up for retirement and your day-to-day -day expenses. However, if you decide to use cash and leave your CPF untouched, you will use approximately 20-30% to of your monthly salary to finance your home loans depending on how much your home loan is. So factoring in your CPF contributions per month will leave you with only about 50% to 60% of your salary left for your own expenses. Additionally, if you have opt for a bank loan with floating rates, the home loan repayments fluctuate according to the market conditions. If the monthly repayment increases on a particular month when your finances are tight, you may not have enough liquid cash for your other expenses. Always remember, cash that we can use freely and without limitations is worth more than the CPF monies that can only be withdrawn at 55 years old, while those who are wealthier may choose to maximize the risk-free rates of CPF accounts. It will be more prudent for young Singaporeans to have more liquid assets at hand. If you choose to pay your home using CPF, you will have cash on hand to plan for rainy days, invest for your retirement, or even do top up back to your CPF. If you choose to pay your home using cash, there is no way you can get the cash back unless you sell your property. Reason number three, having additional liquid cash also means that you can invest in a greater variety of investment vehicles. While you can also use your CPF to invest through the CPF investment scheme, the investment options are very limited and there's a cap of how much funds you can use to invest in certain investment products. Whereas with cash, you will have access to a wider range of investments like robo-advisors and stocks that can give you higher potential returns. If your investment do well, the returns may also be able to cover the interest of the home loan and even the accrued interest that you have to pay back to your CPF when you sell your home. Last but not least, don't forget that CPF OA interest is only 2.5%. This is considered lower as compared to other risk-free products like SSB, T-bills that are offering more than 3-4% to now in this high interest rate environment. Hence, you will be better off using your CPF OA to pay for your home loans if you have no plans to invest your CPF OA into risk-free products that earn higher interest rates. This way, you will free up more cash. Well, you may ask, why not invest the funds in CPF OA into SSB and T-bills? Isn't it the same? Well, you can also invest into these risk-free products using cash too. By investing using your cash into these risk-free products, it gives you higher liquidity as well because any returns from the investment made using your CPF funds will always go back to your CPF account. Hence, isn't it better to invest all these higher interest rate products using your cash since it gives you higher liquidity as well? 
remember it's always good to have higher liquidity because you never know what will happen in the near future okay so having said so much about using CPF funds to pay for your home loans I will be sharing some of the pros of using cash to pay off your home loan first of all at age 55, the money in your CPF OA will automatically be transferred to your retirement account. If you wipe out all your funds in your OA to finance your home, you'll be missing out on money that can be used for your retirement. Though you will have to pay back the amount used in full on top of the accrued interest, only if you decide to sell your house, what you'll be missing out on is the power of compounding interest for your CPF funds. On top of that, the first 20k in your CPF OA will have an extra 1% per annum on top of the 2.5% per annum base interest rate, bringing the total interest rate to 3.5% per annum, allowing you to take advantage of the higher interest. Since your CPF funds give you guaranteed interest, this makes CPF a safe and stable way to save for your retirement backed by the government. Reason number two, when you sell your property, do you know that you have to not only return the principal amount of CPF funds that you have used to finance your home, but also to return the accrued interest that is packed onto the funds you use for financing your home. These payments will consist of your house down payment, monthly mortgage payments and other costs like stamp duty and surveyor fees. Check out this video if you would like to find out CBF accrued interest in detail. Many homeowners underestimated the accrued interest portion that they will have to return to their OA and end up in a negative cash sales. Negative cash sale happens when they sell their house at a low price and the profits they earn might not be able to finance the accrued interest and even the outstanding balance for the home loan. By using cash to fully finance your home, you will mitigate the risk of a negative cash sale since you will have one less thing to worry about, which is the CPF accrued interest. However, in the event of a negative cash sale, homeowners do not have to top up the remaining amount to their CPF account with cash. The consequence for this group is that they will have less CPF monies to tap on for their next property or for their investment purposes. Having that said, CPF accrued interest is not a liability, but an option that we can maximize. Paying your property using CPF is a better choice for most people who can take charge of their finances. All in all, the benefits of using your CPF OA fund seems to outweigh the benefits of using cash to pay off your home loans. The risk-free interest rate of 2.5% that OA offers is also lower than other safe products like SSB, FixD, T-bills in this high interest rate environment. So there is no reason for you not to use your OA to pay your home loan. Comment down below to let me know, have you been using cash or CPF to pay off your home loan? And did that change when the interest rate went down? I appreciate if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. See you in my next video. Bye!